First of all, if we're looking at crystals, we need to make sure we know what it is. If you look at a grain of salt under a microscope, you're going to see a little cube, almost like a little box, and that's what a crystal is. It's a solid object with flat surfaces that meet at regular angles. Here's an example. Uh, the mineral fluorite, in this case, has cubic crystals. They're sort of interpenetrated, and so you can't see them too well. Now, when we talk about metals making crystals, there's two things that can happen. Most metal is what we call amorphous. It doesn't have a crystalline structure. So if you look at, say, a, a spoon or a fork, the metal in that, the atoms are random. But sometimes you do have metal crystals, but they only form in limited situations geologically. You can have crystals of gold, for example, silver, copper, and other minerals. But most of the time when we have metals in nature, they're compounds with other materials. For example, here is a material called calcite. It is a compound of calcium, carbon, and oxygen. CaCO3 is its chemical formula. Now, if you look at it, its shape is what we call rhombohedral. It's not exactly at right angles, but it looks sort of like a cardboard box that's been squashed. Now, in materials like fluorite and calcite, what we have are metal atoms and atoms of nonmetals. For example, calcium over here on the periodic table, uh, carbon and oxygen, those are the components of calcite. If we look at calcium and fluorine, those are the components of fluorite. So why do these have different crystal shapes? It's because of the sizes of the atoms themselves. If you take atoms that are all the same size and pack them together, you're going to get one crystal configuration. But if you have different sizes between one and the other and pack them all together, they're going to rearrange differently. You can sort of demonstrate that yourself uh, if you take a box and, say, put marbles in it and mix that with you know, two different sizes of marbles. And they'll pack one way, but if you have all the same size together, you're going to have a different way of packing. So as we look at minerals in nature, this is some uh, rock salt, which would have cubic crystals, although they're not well preserved here. That's sodium and chlorine. As we look at all the minerals that occur in nature, we see all different uh, shapes of crystals, arrangements of the metal, and the other elements that are present in them.